175, Okami and Silva for the middleweight championship. Ready to fight. Ready. Here go we go. Tonight's clock brought to you by Shark Knight 3D in theaters everywhere September 2nd. Southpaw against Southpaw. Black and yellow for the spider. White trunks for thunder. Okami comes out stalking. Anderson Silva usually in the first round, he kind of takes it to analyze. He's like a computer. He watches what you do, how you're moving, how you're coming forward, what you're doing to you defend yourself, picks apart your game, and it's pretty much over from there. Once he figures you out, it's going to be a short night or it's going to be a long night of pain. And he always likes to toss that jab out just to gather his distance and try to start to set up his opponent. Nice circular movement, not going straight back. And you'll notice he's going against an other southpaw. And when he does that, when, when Anderson goes against another southpaw, he will switch his stance. He's able to, able to go lefty and righty, and he'll look to confuse Okami with both stances throughout this fight. It is nearly impossible to emulate Anderson Silva in a training camp because there are very few, if any, who strike like Anderson Silva. He can do so much, you know. It's it's not that he's the fastest striker in the world. He's not the most powerful striker in the world, but he has the best timing, and he is the most accurate striker in the world. Middleweight title on the line tonight, Saturday, September 24th. Gears of War presents UFC 135, where the light heavyweight title is on the line. Johnny Bones Jones, Rampage Jackson, plus the Hall of Famer Matt Hughes against Diego Sanchez. Live on pay-per-view, 9 in the East, 6 in the West. Coverage begins with prelims live on Spike in the U.S. Roger Sportsnet in Canada. Check your listings internationally. Big swing by Silva. All these movements, these dancing, these feints, they're all done to try to analyze Okami. How is he reacting? Anderson Silva is putting all that information together and planning his attack for the, for the, for the following rounds. Circling and switching his stance again is the champion. Trying to close the distance is the challenger. Okami looking to use that Team Quest dirty boxing style, grab behind the head, kind of that half tie clinch, and use those uppercuts, to try to rough up his opponent. But uh, if, you, if you're gonna do a half tie clinch, do not let Anderson Silva get the full tie clinch because knees will be coming up to your face. Okami, in very classy fashion, said the win, which came by a disqualification for an illegal upkick back in 06. He said, he's never considered it my victory. He considers tonight the continuation of the battle with Anderson Silva. They definitely have unfinished business, and, you know, this is a rematch many years in the making. They've both evolved so much since that time. That was a catchweight fight of 175. Here they are, 185, going at it for the UFC 185 belt in Rio de Janeiro, and uh, interesting to see that Anderson really is kind of content to stay on the cage. He, he is able to get underhook and turn, but he's kind of content to kind of play that tie clinch style with him. Now we saw how he's able to ragdoll Rich Franklin not once but twice with some of the most vicious clinch work we have ever seen in the octagon. And if he can get both hands around the back of the head, of Okami and start to control that upper body. You are in big trouble, as you mentioned. Okami slides down, looking for the single. Okami didn't like that knee. He did not like that knee at all. Quickly went to the legs to try to take him down, but it looks like Okami's trying to wear Anderson Silva down from that Greco clinch, from that half tie clinch. Definitely taking a page out of Tail Sonnen's book, but with not as many uh, leg attacks here. He is big and powerful. He has tremendous thunder in his ground and pound, but I think that Yushin Okami would be the first to admit he doesn't have the pure takedown skills of the high-level wrestler of Chael Sonnen. Yeah, Chael. So he'll need to set up those takedowns with some strikes. Yep, Chael will get in on a leg, use that power double, switch from a single to a high cross. Okami's more of a... Greco-Roman guy, he's got a judo background, kind of, he'll work his takedowns from the clinch and up against the fence. 20 seconds on the clock here in the first round. Title fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Quick kick by Silva. Great head movement by the champion.
face uppercut. Anderson starting to let it go just a bit here at the end of the round. Head kick. Good finish for the champion. Our corner cam brought to you by the city of Rio. Respira. 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 Pound your feet, pound your feet. Put pressure. You're doing good. You're doing okay. Use your feint and be first. Beautiful left high kick right to the back of the head, back of the neck of Yushin Okami. Definitely surprised him. He came up with that one very, very quick. Used mostly hands throughout that round and came up quick with a very nice kick to the head. Well, if he can help it, he'd rather not be placed on his back. He's doing a good job so far. Both corners imploring their fighters to faint and come in. Nice quick jab and a quick combination. Silva pushing the pace here early in the second. Anderson's starting to find his rhythm. The jab by Okami. Anderson definitely turned up a notch there with his intensity. A lot of movement. His hands are very low. He has to be careful with that. His head movement is very, very good. He gets away with it. His head movement. Sick. Oh! Straight right. Knocks down Yushin Okami. Unbelievable. Yeah. Anderson Silva will break the rules and make you pay for it. Unbelievable is the best word to describe what this man does in the octagon against the world's best. It was the same thing he did against Forrest Griffin. He drops his hands, asks you to come in, and then makes you pay with just a jab, and he drops you. Unbelievable. He loved Muhammad Ali growing up, continues to look at Muhammad Ali as one of his heroes. He's got that type of charisma in the octagon. Listen to this place, sold out. HSBC Arena Rio de Janeiro. First UFC in Brazil in 13 years. Big Nog and Shogun, both winners tonight by knockout. He rocks him again! Now he's looking to finish. The way that he can confuse you out there is absolutely mind-boggling. His hands are down knee to the midsection. Okami trying to protect himself. He is so accurate with his strikes, Mike. Big elbow to the midsection. This fight's going to be stopped right now. It is all over! 